Aloha everybody, welcome to Kona Face Center for such a time as this in beautiful South Kona, Captain Cook, Hawaii. And it's good to be back with you today. I know that last week I deviated off of our subject, which I'm working on right now with you, and that is the names of Jesus. So if you could please subscribe if you have not subscribed, and be sure and thumbs up, and please share this with a friend or somebody else that lives even if they're not a friend, because we need to share the word. Friends, neighbors, everybody, share the word. All right, I'm going to get started, and I am still reading from the Old King James Version, so if I mess up on the words, it's my bad. Sorry about that, but it's not a translation I've ever really read. But I went to change it, but if you change the translation, you have to take the word that's being used in that translation so I would have had to redo the whole list. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep going as best I can. Are we ready? I am going to start with the name elect of God and this is found in Isaiah 42 and 1. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. And this is God the Father speaking about Jesus the Son prophetically. All right? And he did. He, he, the Gentiles were are going to be judged at the judgment seat of Christ. Everybody is Jew or Gentile. And the nations were judged. And the nations will continue to be judged when Jesus returns for us. All right, Everlasting Father, Isaiah 9 and 6. Now, this one has lots of his names, so it's repeated in my notes. But it is, we sing this song. We, we, this was turned into a song a long time ago, and we usually sing it at Christmas. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and, the name shall, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Man, that, you know, I just say that and I get giddy inside with joy from the Holy Spirit declaring who Jesus is. This is awesome, people. I encourage you to pray his names when you are in prayer, when you are talking to him. It is powerful. Okay, the next one comes from Revelation 1 and five, and he is called the faithful witness. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and he still does, and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Man, that is so powerful. He had his blood poured out on our behalf, to cleanse us from sin. It just doesn't get any better than that. That is forgiveness multiplied. All right, next one is first and last. Revelation and 117. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. He is the beginning and the end. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Glory to you, Jesus. First begotten in Revelation 1.5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Glory to God. He is also, he was, he is the forerunner from Hebrews 6 and 20. Whither the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus made a high priest forever after 
the order of Melchizedek. And I'll tell you, if you want to learn about Melchizedek, read the book of Hebrews, especially Hebrews, I think, 7, 8, 6 to 8, and study. Look up commentary. Study about Melchizedek because it's so interesting. Okay, he is called the glory of the Lord. And this is from Isaiah 40 and 5. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together together for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it what does that mean Jesus said when he comes back everyone's going to see it everyone's going to know it I don't know if it's going to be telecast I don't know how this is going to be but we are going to see the Lord return and he said he's going to return the same way that he went up into heaven he's going to return coming back down glory to God he's he can't be birthed again he already was he already was and he was sinless and he made it to the, to the throne room of God, sitting at the right side of God. It's just so awesome. He is called God in Isaiah 40 and 3. The voice of him that cries in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. This, this was prophetic about John the Baptist letting people know. Remember calling them a brood of vipers. You need to be saved. You need to be washed clean. And the baptism symbolizes of us dying, dying, dying to self, as it talks about in Galatians 2.20, and being risen and raised up with the firstborn. He is called God blessed in Romans 9 and 5. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came, who is overall God blessed forever. Amen. He's the good shepherd in John 10 and 11. I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. That's us, people. If we believe in Jesus, if we're walking with him rightly, what does that mean? Read through your word. It just means having an intimate relationship with the Lord. It means following his commands, and he narrowed them down to, to two commands. The first one being love God with all our being, and the second one is to love God others as Jesus has loved us. All right. He is the governor from Matthew 2 and 6. And thou Bethlehem in the in the land of Judah are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. He's the great high priest. Hebrews 4 and 14, seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. What does that mean? We continue to profess that Jesus is Lord. He was the firstborn. He's King of kings and Lord of all, Lord of lords. He is God Almighty. He is the great I am. Okay, so he is the head of the church. We are the body. He's the head. From Ephesians 1 and 22. And he hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Even the devil has been placed under the feet of Jesus. He came to destroy the works of the devil. To preach salvation, but also to destroy the works of the devil. He is the heir, H-E-I-R, of all things. From Hebrews 1 and 2. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by a son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Jesus made everything. Jesus is the heir to everything. And it says in the word of God that we are joint heirs with Messiah Yeshua, with Christ Jesus. It's so awesome. He was called the Holy Child, Acts 4.27. For of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, were gathered together. He is the glorious child that came from a virgin birth. Mary was merged with the seed of the Holy Spirit, and she is the only one that has ever existed that that has happened with. Jesus is the Son of God. 
Okay, and our next one is Holy One from Acts 3 and 14. But you denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you. Remember, they were saying crucify him, crucify him, and they took Barabbas instead of taking Jesus. The Holy One of God from Mark 1 and 24, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with you, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Are, have you come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. Those were the demons. They were declaring who Jesus was. You better believe the demons know. And that's why we have the authority in the name of Jesus to pray against demon attacks. Holy One of Israel, Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob. Can't help it, I laugh at some of these names. And ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Does sound better in New King James, I mean in Old King James sometimes. All right, the horn of our salvation from Luke 1 and 69. And hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Talking about Jesus. It's prophesying about Jesus. Glory to God. And I am. And this is the one that really threw everybody off because God's name was I am. Do you remember the story? about him telling Moses when Moses said, who should I say sent me? And he says, tell them, I am. And here in John 8 and 58, Jesus said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. And of course, we know that they began to stone him, but it wasn't his time. Image of God from 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. He is the image of God because he is God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He is also called Emmanuel, and that means God is with us. Isaiah 7 and 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive, and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. God is with us. Jehovah, Isaiah 26 and 4. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. And we need that strength day by day. And the next one is Jesus, whom his Hebrew name is Yeshua, from Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth the Son, and thou shalt call him Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And then Matthew and 21 and 11. Jesus of Nath Nazareth. And the multitude said, This is Jesus the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. And the judge of Israel. And we will stand before him one day. Not just the people of Israel, but all. Micah 5 and 1. Now gather thyself in troops, O daughter of troops. He has laid siege against them. They shall smite the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. And he just got busted up by all those governmental leaders that were denying the deity of who he is. The just one from Acts 7 and 52. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them, which showed before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers of and murderers. Again, it's talking about those that crucified him. I'm going to read one more scripture for today, and then we'll come back next week. And this is from Zechariah 9, 9, where he is called king. Rejoice, O, o greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, the king comes riding on a donkey and upon a colt of the foal of a donkey. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God, you are just so awesome. Jesus, you are so awesome. I just thank you that these names resonate. 
you know, our, our IT person who watches the videos so that she can edit them and make sure everything's on there and on there correctly, she said she had to take notes because the names of Jesus are so powerful. And as we read through them and as we enter them into our spirit, they, they just take over. They envelop our, our body and our mind. And it's hard to stand, it's really hard just to stand here and not be getting excited and jumping up and down and screaming hallelujah and praise the Lord. But I don't think you want to watch 15 minutes of me doing that. So glory to God, I will do it afterwards if the Lord so wills for me. Hallelujah, God bless you. See you next time. You alone, Lord, made me a brand new creation. Only by a spirit could this have been done.